Hi, in this video, I will show you how to integrate the pop up box sweet alert pop up box in your projects. So, this thing uh, today, I'll use just a uh, tag HTML a tag to implement this thing. So, initially, we have to integrate the sweet alert codes at the header part of your project. Uh, if you don't have idea about how to do this just follow my previous sweet alert video regarding this how to integrate sweet alert so in this thing today i will teach you html tag uh, how to set this pop-up box Usually, if you create a stable tag like this, it will directly goes to the once you click on this go here in the front end, it will directly goes to this Google website. But with a sweet alert pop up, we can ask a confirmation box. So that's why I created this delete class here. For example, we can create any name in here. So for now, I just created delete. So to implement the sweet alert, we have to create a script and you just go to the pop-up box this code and paste in the code after paste you just, you just copy the codes you just come in here and uh, we have to block the default function for that we have to create dollar to call that class delete the class name on, on click we are creating on click function so click execute this function function is just for now i am just creating the function name e value and inside the function just stop the e that means prevent default prevent default that means it will if default function is once you click on this go here in the front end it will directly goes to this google.com website so from this function we are preventing the default event and passing what we have in there and we are writing the value to there to see and uh, these are not mandatory fields just you can keep it for future requirements now we have to paste the code what we have copied from the sweet alert code that means this code this code we just paste this code here and it goes in same way so the, what this code mean is once you click on this code now it will prevent click on this go here it will prevent the default function and give this pop-up so if the user click on confirm box it will show this message and once we want to send it to the default once that if we click on ok button it should go to the www.google.com this url for that we have to type here as a location dot hf Equal himself the script finish here. It's a very simple way of doing this thing. So if you want to delete something, just you need to pass the function name with the ID or something here. So once the customer click on this delete, it will execute this pop-up and if they click cancel, it's getting cancelled. No functions will be executed. If they click on confirm box, it will directly execute this whatever things we have in here. So at the same time, again, I'm explaining. I just call this class here. If you are using the ID here, so we have to code, call the ID here and stop the default function and execute this code. 
now we'll see how is the front line execution will come and we have the this is the front end and the delete is showing here this is very big testing part okay let's see now if we refresh the page it will come to go here as recorded and uh, in here go here so it shows this go here part here so once the user click on go here it shows the pop-up if we click cancel no changes if we click again as yes delete it goes to the direct page so hope it's clear we can change the appearance what are the questions coming should come there and what are the things to display and success so after executing the code what are the things should display we can uh, edit those things nothing to worry about that so we can change the button colors and those things from here so for a button for a, this is for a tag you can execute the same code for a button or uh, for whatever things you want in html so thank you guys we'll see you in the next tutorial